But you also recently said that the Middle East would be better off with Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein, and Assad in power. How does... I didn't say Assad, but we certainly have not gained anything with Gaddafi. And you, you look at what happened. I mean, look at Libya. Look at Iraq. Iraq used to be no terrorist. He would kill the terrorists immediately. It was like, now it's the Harvard of terrorism. Iraq. If you look at Iraq from years ago, I'm not saying he was a nice guy. He was a horrible guy. But it was a lot better than it is right now. Right now, Iraq is a training ground for terrorists. Right now, Libya, nobody even knows Libya. Frankly, there is no Iraq and there is no Libya. It's all broken up. They have no control. Nobody knows what's going on. So the on. world would be better off with Saddam Hussein and Gaddafi in power? 100%. Now, were, as far as Assad is concerned, let's What about talk the about human it. rights abuses? Let's and, talk about... Well, you don't think they're happening now? They're worse now than they ever were. People are getting their heads chopped off. They're being drowned. They're, right now, they're far worse than they were ever under Saddam Hussein or Gaddafi. I mean, look what happened. Libya is a catastrophe. You look at our ambassador as an example, okay? Uh, Libya is a disaster. Iraq is a disaster. Syria is a disaster. The whole Middle East. And it all blew up around Hillary Clinton and around Barack Obama. It all blew up. Now, one thing about Assad, not a good guy. I understand that. But we're backing and spending billions and billions of dollars on backing rebels that we have no idea who they are. And a lot of people think they're ISIS. I happen to think they're ISIS, but who knows? But we're spending billions of dollars to get Assad out with people that we have no idea who they are. I don't think that's smart. We have to rebuild our country. Our country's falling to pieces. We have 19 trillion in debt. We have infrastructure that's a disaster. Our roadways, our airports, our schools, everything. We have to start thinking about ourselves. We're pouring trillions of dollars into the Middle East and we have nothing for it. We have nothing. I give to many people. Before this, before two months ago, I was a businessman. I give to everybody. When they call, I give. And you know what? When I need something from them, two years later, three years later, I call them. They are there for me. So and that's get? a broken system. So what would you get from Hillary Clinton and Nancy Pelosi? Well, I'll tell you what. With Hillary Clinton, I said, be at my wedding, and she came to my wedding. You know why? She had no choice because I gave. I don't need anybody's money. It's nice. I don't need anybody's money. I'm using my own money. I'm not using the lobbyists. I'm not using donors. I don't care. Hillary Clinton was the worst secretary of state in the history of our country. The worst. The world blew up around her. Every single thing that she touched turned to garbage. The entire Middle East in her reign and the reign of Barack Obama went to hell. And you have Assad, and then you have the, the rebels. How many times have we been backing rebels to find out that they're always worse than the guy that's in there? Right? All the time. They all say, fight Assad. Fight Assad. Assad's a bad guy. They're all bad guys. Not too many good guys over there, right? They're all bad guys. I mean, what did we get by knocking out Gaddafi? Right? Nothing. Nothing. What did we get by knocking out Saddam Hussein? And frankly, you know, in all fairness, there were no weapons of mass destruction. But what did we get out of it? Saddam Hussein killed terrorists. He would kill them immediately. He didn't do it politically correct. He found a terrorist, they were gone within five seconds, okay? With us, we find a terrorist, it's going to be 25 years at a trial. We're back in people. If they win, they'll end up being worse than Assad, and we'll have spent another trillion dollars on them. Nice and easy, folks. In fact, a lot of people think that the rebels that we're backing is ISIS. And people are saying they're ISIS. ISIS. Worse than Assad. Hey, Saddam Hussein was never as bad as these people. These people are brutal. They're chopping off everybody's heads, especially if you happen to be Christian. They chop off your head. They dunk people with the cage. Did you see that? They dunk them and drown them. These people make Saddam Hussein look like a choir boy. Okay? And I said this in 2004. In Reuters, anybody from Reuters back there? I'm sure they are. There was an article in July of 2004. Trump said, don't invade Iraq. And a delegation comes to see me from the White House that they'd like to, you know, have me call. I say, but you're making a mistake. You're going to destabilize the whole Middle East. Because you had Iran and Iraq that always fight, right? Oh, years I read about wars. Iran goes 10 feet this way, then 10 feet. They were the same. They were like twins. Same strength. If you do that, 
you're going to destabilize because you're going to knock the hell out of one and the other one's going to come in and take it over. It's pretty simple. I mean, you don't have to be a total genius to figure this out, even though I am a genius, okay? So you're going to, right? We made a tremendous mistake. We went into Iraq. Shouldn't have happened. Everything you see right now is an offshoot of that decision. That was a very bad decision. Then Obama got out the wrong way. I mean, here's a guy. He announces the date that we're leaving. So the enemy pulls back. What do we have to fight for? They're leaving. We leave 18 months later. Putin wants to bomb. I say, go ahead. Go ahead. Bomb. I don't know Putin, but he said nice things about me. He said, Trump is a genius, and Trump is going to win, and Trump is leading the party. All right, said nice things. Look, you know, I always like a compliment. We all like compliments. Not going to influence me. Believe me, I'm going to do what's right. But he said these things. So the other people said, we want you to disavow what Putin said. First of all, I say this. Guy calls you a genius, you're not going to disavow. Do we agree? <laughs> Only a stupid person would disavow, not a genius. No genius would disavow being called a genius. But more importantly, if you look at it, wouldn't it be nice if we actually got along with Russia and other countries? Wouldn't that be nice? For 20 years, I've heard the worst thing that could happen would be if Russia and China start uniting. We've united them. Because we did things that were very onerous because Obama doesn't like Putin. And Putin doesn't respect or like Obama. And all of a sudden, Russia and China now are doing all sorts of things together. I, I heard them saying this morning on television, how dare they want to, Donald Trump wants to work with Russia to get rid of ISIS. Uh, yeah, sort of, right? You know, the cost of missiles at a million dollars a pop, it would be nice to work with somebody else, let them drop some of their missiles. But they were talking about working with Russia like we have, we have to do it ourselves. Why do we have to do everything ourselves?